Praise the Lord. Glory to God. We just arrived at the house of John Knox with our father, Apostle Michael Oropo. We are just going to take a bit of a tour around. God bless you all. Welcome to the house of John Knox. My name is Apostle Michael Oropo, and I just want to give you a brief tour. I've had a tour myself, but I want you to look at it. Probably you've not had the opportunity to come to Edinburgh, Edinburgh in Scotland, but um, for a second or a few minutes, you can just have a look at it quickly. So, Reverend Moses will take us around all the segments in just the next five minutes before we show you what things we experienced. Okay. Lord, we come again to step on this very soil. We ask that the same spirit, Paul said, having the spirit, the same spirit of faith, we believe and therefore we speak. And so, Father, we ask that the same spirit that caused for an outpouring and a great revival in the United Kingdom through your servant John Knox, the same will rest upon us. Amen. And as we depart from here, we carry that spirit of revival. Amen. The same dimension of the Holy Ghost that fell upon him, yes. that convicted the hearts of men, caught through system, and established the dominion of God, we carry that same dimension to the various facets and various spheres where you have planted us. Amen. And so we decree that revival will spring forth even from here Amen. to the United Kingdom and to Africa Amen. and to Nigeria Amen. In, and to Ghana Amen. and to South Africa, to Kenya Amen. and all parts of the world Amen. in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father, because from the far-reaching regions of Zambia to the far-reaching regions of China Amen. to the far-reaching regions of America, Amen. there will be an out pouring of the Spirit. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Thank you, Father, because it's not just a memorable day, mm. but it's also a day of awakening in mm. the Spirit. Amen. In Jesus' precious name, we have declared. Amen. 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 An honor to, to pray young way to not organize his house fellowship. We will never be the same. Amen. 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 Wow. This is John Knox's prayer author. Where all his prayers were virtually made. And these are Father Apostle Michael Oropo also praying on the same altar. Same chair John Knox sat many years ago. Same table, same spot. Praying. Praying. He's a historic visit. Just the need papa. Contacting mantles, ancient mantles. Connecting to 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 Yes, Lord. We carry of this grace. We take of this grace. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Lord, we will set this world on fire. Amen. And the glory of the Lord will be seen again. Amen. Thank you, Father. Amen. Everything you did here, mm -hmm. Lord, you will do in our lives. Amen. You will do in Africa. Amen. And you will do in Nigeria. Amen. You will do it in the United Kingdom Amen. again. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Mm. Oh, Lord. We give you praise. Yes, Lord. The likes of John Knox will rise again. Amen. Amen. Men of bodies of prayer. Amen. Men of purity and fire. Amen. Men without corruption and God. Amen. Men that brought down kingdoms mm. and established the dominion of the cross. Yes, sir. Thank you, Father. Amen. It's a dawn of a new day. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. 
yeah, th this is the session one of the tour. And uh, so what they have here, books? Yeah, this is like uh, the book, some of the books he wrote. And uh, you can see the books here. And this is poster here. And uh, and we are still moving inside. We are actually going to the entrance where all the main activities took place. Uh, this is your notes, 15, the gallery, 13, the gallery display. As well, you can see, these are his photos and ancient photos as well. It's just a summary of his life. Yes, yeah, exactly. This is a summary of his life. You can see the the, the years. Can you know, zoom it close, take it slow. So that's the details of John Knox's life. So he has a gallery. I know a lot of you have read about him. And I just want you to have the opportunity to experience what the house looks like. So this is like an, a second section. Um, this another room. Um, it used to be a restroom, but some of um, John Knox's um, handworks have been documented here so that uh, you can appreciate because he was a blacksmith so some of his handbooks are here um, you can also hear his voice um, but we'll play the voice in for you much later but i just want you to have a look at it and then you go up to this the more spiritual chambers of john knox's house i'm having to take the pain to do this because i want you to really get it and so see, this is library, right? Yeah. Where he sits to study. So John Knox was also a man of study. He didn't just pray, he studied. And this is the seat he uses for his studies. I sat on it already. I mean, we've had a great time. And then you come here to where some of his handworks are displayed. We shared already. These are some precious, precious stones. And then, these are some of John, John Knox's handworks. This is um, the, the scene of Lazarus' resurrection where Jesus called him back from the dead. This is the Ark of Noah. All of these were done by John Knox himself. This is the Garden of Eden, the fall of man. And this is, of course, the fall of Lucifer. So these are some of the equipments he used to carry out this handwork. And then you also have some inner chambers here where you could um, look around, maybe a back door or something. And then we have another place. This is what the room looks like. And then you can look at the city from here as well, Edinburgh, Scotland. And then there's another place up here. Yeah, you are now going to the prayer room. So John Knox designed it in such a way that the prayer room is the uppermost part of the house. And so before the prayer room, here is a sitting room where he talks to dignitaries that come to see him or people that um, he needs to have deeper conversations with. And then you have a, a house fellowship center, like a mini, a mini church at home. And so you have seats here where you, you sit for fellowship. And then behind it, where I received a very strong impartation a moment ago from the Holy Spirit, is his room of prayer. And in the room of prayer, here is John Knox's prayer seat, prayer table. So this is like his prayer altar. And um, it's the most, most, most significant aspect of the house. I sat on this chair to pray a moment ago and instantly a lot began to happen with me. These men were not religious men. These men served the Lord. And to date, this house is not a monument. I just sat on this chair to pray. Of course, I'm not coming to do any ritual, but this is where John Knox stepped. And so there is an open heaven. There's a portal here. I sat here to pray and instantly 
I began to have strange impartations. Again, I would like to sit. If I had my way, I would sit here all day. <laughs> my goodness. Amazing experience. John Knox, the revivalist of Scotland, the man of prayer. The Queen of England once said he's, she's more terrified of John Knox's prayer than the whole army of England put together. His prayer is that powerful and that impactful. So, just to give you a, a little view of the house of John Knox here in Edinburgh, Scotland, I want you to have this experience. I believe for those of you who are people of prayer and love revival, this will stir up your heart. Um, these are some of the, these things are preserved for us. You, there was a point in the United Kingdom where the power that decided things was between the Queen by the name Mary and John Knox. And if you look at what is written here, it said it was a meeting, said in a series of emotional meeting, Mary and Knox tried to clarify their disagreement, but the conflict that divided them had already been split, had already split the whole of Europe along religious and political lines. So John Knox was as powerful as the Queen of England, as at the time, and Europe was divided along the lines of politics and religion. You want to hear that deliberation? There was a dialogue between John Knox and the Queen, and I just want to play it for you for a few minutes. We'll do a, a better documentary for you to catch a glimpse of this, but listen to their dialogue between the Queen and John Knox. Well, Mr. Knox, that's the Queen speaking. Talk about? That's the voice of the man of prayer. I, I shall scold you. I have been told, Mr. Knox, that you have raised a part of my subjects against my mother and against myself. Allow me to go on. It is true, I think, that you have written a book. I have. That was very clever of you. <laughs> it is called, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, the monstrous regiment of women. It was not a very good book. I have put certain literary gentlemen to the trouble of answering it. You hate women, Mr. Knox. We shall talk of that presently. It has been further told to me that you have been the cause of great slaughter and sedition in England. And it is a common talk in that land that you did this by necromancy. Now, there is no smoke without fire, Mr. Knox, although it seems strange to me that such things should be said of a complete, respectable looking man like yourself. Madam, please, please, your majesty, please, 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 but, surely, madam, the true knowledge of God and his elect worshipper must move the hearts of men to be that just and mortal as it is yourself, if you are, and not to be I thank and I fully persuade you that your majesty has as much unfeeling obedience for the God who is as ever your father has. You interpret scripture in one manner, they interpret it in another. Whom shall I believe? And who is to be the judge? So you can hear John Knox boldly refuting the Queen and establishing the position of righteousness at a time when a man could be slaughtered for daring to challenge the powers that be. These men were truly sold out to God. And if we, we, if we hope to change our world and to bet the revival we seek, we must become as dogged as they were, not fearing their lives, living a life of outright sacrifice and complete devotion to the Lord, even when we have to stand against authorities that are at variance with that which God 
endorses and holds sacred. John Knox indeed was a man of God. And to date, what God did through his life is still left behind, not as monuments, but as portals and landmarks of the Spirit for many who are hungry to see the move of God to step upon. And today we are privileged to make contact with some of these landmarks. And as I communicate this video to you, I believe that your spirit will be sensitive enough to make contact with something. Please, this is not idolatry of any form. This is just gaining access through that which the spirit of just men made perfect as made available. So you connect only by faith and nothing else. Please make no religion or monument out of this video. Just let it be a means of stirring your heart, having heard a man who served the Lord in his day, to also be provoked to serving the Lord in your time. God bless you richly. I'm your brother, Rupa Mike.